afternoon, Matthew. Um, welcome to my channel, as always. Um, I haven't been on here for a while due to uh, being quite lazy and uh, also I hadn't felt well to be fair so uh, I had a few weeks off um, but I'm back so hey ho. I'm at my bar today because it's actually quite nice weather. I have Dave with me as always in the background bless him. Um, so yeah so I want to first dedicate this particular um, video to um, Gavin McKenzie and his brother Jamie who cycled 24 hours on a stationary bike to their houses to raise money for charity uh, that's were close to their heart which was um, Children with Cancer UK and between them they cycled 526 miles um, absolute hats off to them both uh, hope they're let, I, mean, I imagine their legs are hurting now and their butts are hurting a little bit but um, I bet it's uh, a privilege to think that raised all that money for those those children and I know it means a lot to them because it's a charity close to their heart as I said. Um, they've raised five grand um, which is absolutely amazing and Gavin's such a lovely guy um, and uh, he deserves you know every penny he gets really to put towards that charity so guys hats off to you. Secondly um, there's a uh, Professor Ferguson uh, on the news said that hopefully Britain won't go into another lockdown, which uh, God, we're hoping, praying really. Um, and who, who has had both vaccinations? I am now both. I am now vaccinated. Funny, so I ain't got to worry about any more that. Um, other than that, we'll get on the drinking. But yeah, so so this is dedicated to Gavin and Jamie. Absolutely amazing heroics. So my three drinks I'm going to try tonight. I'm going to do one at a time. My first drink tonight is the Thirsty Ferret. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, which is an amber ale, 4.1%. Um, ferret comes with a Latin word for a little thief. Mm. When they're about, you can be sure troubles brewing. So this is 4.4% uh, volume, uh, and it's a nice bottle. They're a badger. They I know Badger have uh, quite a uh, range of drinks. Um, I've tried a few of them before, but I haven't tried this one before. There we go. Right. So, Thirsty Ferret <coughs> is my first drink tonight. This afternoon, sorry. Um, and my usual slogan, I'll be done, no I'm done. <sighs> cool, that's really nice actually. It's got a really nice sweet taste to it at the end. It's uh, very, very nice actually. Quite Moorish, actually. Oh, absolutely, and it's won um, World Beer Awards. I'm not surprised, actually. That's really, really nice. So, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10, Matthew. Yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic drink. So, I've done off my second drink now. It's all down there, you see. Not organised as always. People know I'm not organised. This is called um, SA Gold. It's a company called Brains. Um, it's a 4.7 volume uh, Dragon Brewery in Cardiff. It's made. Uh, and it's full flavoured, happy, refreshing ale brewed with Cascade and Styrian Golden Tops to create an easy drinking beer with distinctive citrus notes. Mmm, okie dokie. Well, you better judge of that. I do apologise. Blimey, I'm sleep problem drinking. Second drink, oh, I'm getting used to it. 
there's a second one got a nice sort of distinct smell to it quite a light freshness smell actually very very nice actually it smells nice um, so hopefully it tastes as good as it smells okay stop the bum no I'm done This one. It's a bit sharp to be honest with you. It's a bit harsh on the throat as well. Um, no, not a great fan of that. So, I'll give it quite harsh on that to be honest with you. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's halfway there. It's not great, but it's not awful, you know. The final drink I'm going to try is. Timothy Taylor's Landlord, a classic pale ale, and it's 4.1%. Uh, that was a nice bottle actually. It's uh, was made in 1982. Um, it's achieved by using the finest ingredients, um, and yeah, it's quite nice actually. To be honest with you, it's 4.1% uh, volume, so it's good. So, championship beers. Are they champions? The same kind of one. Okay, so, last beer today. Uh, Timothy Taylor's Landlord Beer. Um, 4.5% and it's pale ale. So, have you done? Definitely not. That's quite nice actually. It's got like a slightly sweet taste at the end of it. Sweet and then it sort of goes like dry. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all actually. I'd give that. Seven out of ten. Give that a seven out of ten. So the reason why I do this, guys, is obviously we've all got different taste buds. So don't just go by my choices. But because obviously I want to celebrate with Gavin and Jamie, I'm going to have a glass of Condorcet. Just reflect. Things. So again, this is dedicated to Gavin and Jamie. Um, I've known Gavin a long time. I knew Gavin at gym years ago. Uh, the sale has been a lovely fella. Um, and you know, hats off to him. You know, it's 24 hours cycling. You know, I couldn't cycle in 10 minutes, let alone 24 hours. Um, I did cycle a few years ago, but you know, but now I've popped over belly on. Um, but yeah, I wanted to dedicate it towards them too, really, because, uh, you know, £5,000 towards, you know, cancer for children. I mean, that's just incredible, you know, and I hope that it'll just keep going up and up for them, really, um, because it's a massive achievement, realistically. Um, as I say, I hope everybody's had all their their vaccines done now. Um, I mean, my, my second one was done. I did feel a bit crap afterwards. I don't know how everybody else felt, but I did feel a bit rubbish after my second one. 
but uh, it, it lasted about a day, and after that I felt better. I just ached. I felt like a uh, dead arm, which I had in my first one anyway, but more dead arm and uh, felt a bit bumped up really to be honest. With you. So it's all gone now, better obviously now. Um, so we've got uh, June, this month I think it's the 15th of May, they'll be indoors, we can actually go indoors and, and uh, things go into shopping centres and, and indoor like um, leisure centres and stuff to be open. And 21st of June will be officially out of lockdown. Obviously there'll be, I reckon there'll be a couple of restrictions maybe keep wearing masks when you go into venues or when you sat down with other loved ones or friends or you can maybe take them off that doesn't bother me to be honest with you I think I said it in one of my other videos before it doesn't bother me if I have to wear masks I'm, I work for the NHS so at the end of the day I wear masks every day so it wouldn't do me no difference to be honest with you uh, it keeps people safe <coughs> then uh, so be it you know you, you, you want to keep us all safe and then hopefully we'll find out I think next week what countries we can all travel to without having to come back and quarantine so um, that'll be good for people who actually want to get on a plane and actually have some normality uh, go away and, and have a couple of tours. So, yep, so that's it from me. Uh, so thank you, Jamie and uh, Gavin, for your tremendous cycle guys. Uh, my hat's off. I think most of the people's hats will be off uh, when they hear about your triumph. Um, and take care. Soon. Look after you to everybody. Have you all.